We have learned last time about the adrenergic receptors using the ABCD123 method. We have learned A stands for alpha receptors, B stands for beta receptors, and the numbers 1, 2, and 3 will help us remember where and how they act. So for A1, we think arteries constrict. When alpha-1 is activated, the blood vessels constrict, which leads to increased blood pressure. A drug that we can use as an example is phenylephrine, a decongestant which constricts blood vessels in the nasal passages to relieve nasal congestion. Also, because alpha-1 can increase blood pressure, it is also used in hypotension. Alpha-2, on the other hand, means automatic break. And an example drug here is the drug clonidine, which is used to treat high blood pressure by activating A2 to inhibit further sympathetic stimulation. Beta-1, we think one heart. It works primarily in the heart to increase heart rate and force of contraction. A drug example here is the butamine. It stimulates beta-1 for acute heart failure or cardiogenic shock to improve heart performance. There are also drugs that inhibit or block the action of beta-1 receptors. We call it the beta blockers. It lowers heart rate and blood pressure in hypertension. In beta-2, we think two lungs. Two also means dilation as beta-2 causes bronchodilation. For example, during an asthma attack, salbutamol or albuterol, a beta-2 agonist, is used in inhalers to open up the airways. Beta-3, we think bladder and burn. Beta-3 relaxes the bladder, helping with overactive bladder issues, and it also promotes fat breakdown. We call it lipolysis. For example, Mirabegron is a beta-3 agonist used for urinary incontinence. It helps calm an overactive bladder. Okay.